Otherwise, it really doesn't matter. It's a work one. Thank you. If you're lying in this, then you could trap it all in there. But, um, you actually could, couldn't you? Yeah, but then, because you have to turn it all inside out, so then... 
It's got to give somewhere. Well, no, you you could, could split that into, into two, and then when you bring it two. up, because you've got to bag it out, you've got to pull it through somewhere. Yeah, you've got all that. That you're going to have to do on the garment, though, aren't you? You're going to have to stitch it through. Yeah, and then push it all up. We just all, all, so why don't you just leave like that seam? Well, what you could do, if, you, if it's all going to push up and then it comes to here and you bag this one out, then you could like overlap it and do that stitch there. Do a little hole. Could do that. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. That's, yeah, it would. So you can catch everything in the hood. It's, like it's really top, clean. Yeah, and then like there, you would just do one stitch and hold it all. That'd be alright. Because it's not going to be thick fabric, is it? No, I, I, I don't mind that. Then you just mark the same point, and it? You just, it might actually look quite good with, the, with like just the top stitch. Yeah. Right, we're going. Min. Hi, good, uh, good afternoon. Oh, hold on. Um, this is, um, is it better? We're talking about 157 Commercial Street, which was owned by my uncle Saga, was the original first Indian Sikh people to have a textile company in England, and the first person to have a Indian person to have a Rolls Royce with an English driver. At one time, he owned three Rolls Royces. 157 Commercial Street and Wheeler Street was his company. The first Asian people to have a textile company in England. Everybody bought the textile from here amongst all the Jewish people. And therefore he had a big house in Bartfield, which was a 32 bedroom house, and he owned chickens, he owned, he owned horses, it was a 32 bedroom house, a, a big manor house, it was Saga Pink. So this is called Saga Textiles, which was originally owned by Mr. Saga. And he had a sportswear. He had Del Monte Sportswear, which was part of his firm. He had a Golden Mist Whiskey Company, which was over there. That was Golden Mist Whiskey. He had Del Monte Sportswear, he had Saga Textiles. Del Monte Sportswear was owned by Shirts and Sportswear. And the textile was owned by Saga Textiles. And the Golden Mist Whiskey head office was there, which is which a distillery in Scotland. And you're here today because... I'm here because of my father. We bring back memories. The brothers got together and we just show you, show you around. What's your name? Uh, Paul. 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 John. Lovely to meet you.